object oriented programming or oop is a very powerful programming paradigm used by many popular languages like java we have been covering the oop concepts in a series of videos java object oriented concepts abstraction java object oriented concepts encapsulation java object oriented concepts inheritance please watch those videos if you want to get more details in this video we will understand polymorphism poly means many and morph means forms so polymorphism means many forms in real lives we see examples of polymorphism a lady plays multiple roles role of a mother a wife a friend a sister etc she reacts differently based on the role she is playing in java polymorphism means to perform a single action in multiple ways there are two types of polymorphism static or compile time polymorphism in which we create overloaded methods with the same name but with different parameters and at compile time the compiler decides which method to call based on the parameters passed runtime polymorphism is when at runtime the java virtual machine figures out the method to call based on the type of object it is being invoked on polymorphism requires inheritance or interface implementations let us understand the two types of polymorphism with examples and demos just as in real lives we work with various objects like cars tables chairs etc with solve problems similarly in object oriented programming we think in terms of objects to solve problems let's take the animal object it has attributes like color weight and methods like speak eat let's create another eat method when we are giving a treat to the animal for doing something good the regular eat method is when they are eating regular food so we have two eat methods let's see it in terms of a java class here is the java class for an animal where it has attributes for color weight a constructor to initialize the color and weight a speak method an eat method without arguments inside which we are just printing i am eating food here is another method with the same name eat but it has a parameter of type string called treat inside we are printing i am eating a treat so when we call eat with no parameters the first method is called when we call eat with a parameter the second method is called this is static polymorphism where calling the same method name would invoke different actions based on parameters this is resolved at compile time hence the name compile time polymorphism now we have covered inheritance in my earlier video java object oriented concepts inheritance let's say we have two classes dog and cat which inherit from the animal class so both extend the animal class and inherit all the attributes and methods of the parent animal class now the child class can override the parent's method with the override annotation and provide their own implementation so the dog class has its implementation of the speak method in which we print to the console i am a dog the cat class overrides it too and prints to the screen i am a cat now in our tester we have a variable animal as new animal assigned to the type animal next we have a variable of type dog as new dog upcasted to and assigned to the animal type finally we have the cat type as new cat assigned to the superclass type animal calling animal dot speak will resolve at runtime to the animal classes speak method dog dot speak will resolve to i am a dog and cat dot speak will resolve to the cat speak method i am a cat so even though they are all assigned to the superclass variable type the speak method implementation is called of the appropriate subclass based on the variable it is acting upon this is runtime polymorphism so the advantage of polymorphism is to decouple the client class from the implementation code instead of being hard coded the client class receives the appropriate implementation to execute the necessary action thus it provides loose coupling 
let's see it in action. Here I'm running Spring Tool Suite, a flavor of Eclipse, but you can download and use any IDE you want. You can use Notepad also to write Java programs, but an IDE makes it very easy. So let me click New, Java Project. Let's give this project a name, Polymorphism Project. Click Finish. Now here is the project. Expanding it, we see this source folder. Let's right click and choose New, Class. Give it a name, Animal. Click Finish. Let's create attributes, string color and double weight. Let's create a constructor to initialize this class as public animal which takes in string color and double weight and inside assigns these to the instance variables using this which is a keyword to reference the instance variable. Let's assign this dot color to color and this dot weight to weight. Let's create a public method speak which returns void or nothing. Inside, let's just print hello from animal. Let's create an eat method inside which we print to the console I am eating food. Let's create another eat method which takes in a string parameter treat and inside which we print I am eating treat and concatenate the treat name. In the speak method also, let's concatenate using the plus sign color plus my weight is plus weight. Let's see static polymorphism in action first. Let's right click and choose new class call it tester inside let's create a public static void main string args now this is the method which the java runtime would call it creates a main method within the java application it's the core method of the program and it calls all others it can't return values and accepts parameters for complex command line processing inside let's initialize a variable of type animal and create an instance of it by calling new animal passing in the color of gray and a weight of 20. Now let's call animal.eat first without any parameter and then call animal.eat with a parameter cookie. Let's run this by right clicking and choosing run as java application. The first speak call with no argument calls the first method and then the call with the argument calls the second method. The method to call is resolved at compile time due to the parameters, so it is called static or compile time polymorphism. Now let's create a subclass which will inherit from this class. Let's right click and choose new class and call it dog. Inside, using extends, let's indicate that it inherits from animal. It inherits both the color and weight attribute of the animal class as well as the speak and to eat methods. Let's create its constructor, so public dog which takes in color and weight and then it invokes the constructor of the parent using the super keyword passing in color and weight. Let's using the at override annotation create the dog class's unique implementation of the speak method. Inside which we print I am a dog. Next, let's similarly create the cat class by right clicking and choosing new class and call it cat. Inside, using extends, let's indicate that it inherits from animal. Again, let's create its constructor similar to the dog class and invoke using super the constructor of the parent's animal class. Let's create the cat specific implementation of the speak method by overriding the one from the parent by using the add override annotation and calling public void speak and inside print I am a cat. Now let's go to the tester and create a variable of type animal, call it dog and initialize it using the dog's constructor as new dog passing in a color of black and a weight of 30. Similarly, let's create another variable as new cat with color white and weight 20 and assign it to superclass variable type animal. Now let's call animal.speak, dog.speak and cat.speak. Let's run this by right clicking and choosing run as Java application. Even though all three variables are declared as of type animal, they call the appropriate subclasses implementation of the speak method based on how they were instantiated or created. Java runtime sees the type of class and then at runtime calls the right implementation. This is runtime polymorphism. 
In this video, we talked about the important concept of polymorphism which means multiple forms. It means to perform a single action in multiple ways. We saw that there are two types of polymorphism, static or compile time polymorphism in which we create overloaded methods with the same name but with different parameters and at compile time the compiler decides which method to call based on the parameters passed. Runtime polymorphism is when at runtime the Java virtual machine figures out the method to call based on the type of object it's being invoked on. Hopefully you got a good understanding of the important concept of polymorphism. Thanks for watching.